What is going on guys? It's good to see you and welcome back to my channel for day 12 on War on Sugar Challenge. We are doing pretty good and if you could see from my thumbnail for today, uh, I'm eating some shirataki noodles, uh, shirataki spaghetti to be exact, with some seafood. I'm sorry for uploading this uh, video too late, but unfortunately I was a uh, whole day at university and I fasted, which was pretty tough considering three, uh, three courses and one seminar which equals eight hours and stay focused the whole time. Um, but let's talk about something very particularly interesting when it comes down to sugar and how it does affect our bodies. The two hormones that I want to explain to you in today's vlog is one, insulin, and the second is glucagon. If you didn't hear about these hormones until now, stay focused and uh, I want to make clear all these things. So, first thing when you eat, uh, no matter what you eat, if you eat protein, if you eat carbs, or if you eat fats, some insulin uh, will be released in your bloodstream. Now, there are different uh, variations how this insulin is produced. Mainly, when you eat carbs, you're spiking your insulin in a much higher rate than you will do it with protein or with fat. But, in fact, when we eat and it's only a matter of uh, calories and food that we can digest at that moment. The, uh, the other part of the foods gonna be stored as fat. This is our body how it function. Uh, and it's because our organism it's uh, adapted to store some fat for harder days. Uh, but this is the point when insulin uh, is gone, it comes the glucagon. The glucagon is the opposite of insulin. It takes the fat uh, from the storage accumulated from your cells and transport it to your liver where it can be converted to energy. So you see? And this is the way our body should perform. But, unfortunately, in the past couple of centuries, for the added sugars that we have in all the uh, foods we eat, we constantly spiking our insulin, which generates to store all the foods and uh, the glucagon does not have any chance to take the stored fat to make some energy from it. So this is the point when we slowly but steadily we gain fat. Now, coming back, uh, so that was all uh, for today in the sugar lection. I want to say something uh, particularly about this cognac noodles or shirataki noodles, which is uh, very in interesting. These noodles contain two total carbs per serving. Uh, and the serving is 200 grams. Now, uh, you're asking yourself, how does this possible? Actually, it's an ancient root, an ancient fiber from China, uh, from which these uh, products are made. And they contain uh, a lot of glucaman in a form. Uh, so, there exists some capsules which contains glucagon, and these Shirataki noodles and konjac noodles contains it too. So it's very interesting how it does affect you. And it kills your cravings uh, and you can enjoy pasta or rice uh, in the kitchen ketogenic diet too. So you miss uh, all these things and you uh, don't want to eat any more the um, cauliflower rice or cauliflower pizza crust uh, actually that should remain 
but the cauliflower rice you can swap it sometimes to this shirataki rice, shirataki noodles. You can find it on Amazon too. You can check it out uh, on the description box below. I'm gonna put some links to it. So if you wanna do it, it's not good only for keto, but for everybody out there. With all of that, I'm out of here and stay tuned for the next week or so until I'm gonna be in Bruxelles. Actually, our one, two, in five days, we're gonna be in Bruxelles. So I'm very excited for that. With all of that, finally, I'm out of here. Bye.